Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout brings us to the Elimination King of Sparta Striker Series quarterfinals. This quarterfinal matchups are boxing bouts scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is your eighth seed, Dom Barana. All right, something to take note of because it is a tournament in the boxing and kickboxing and Muay Thai. If there's two knockdowns in a round, that's the end of the fight. If there's three knockdowns over the course of the fight, the third knockdown would be the end of the fight. Oh, well, that's again because it's a tournament style format. Definitely understandable. We gotta, you know, protect these fighters. Yeah. Because they won't do it themselves. <laughs> So our quarterfinals for the King of Sparta, King of Strikers Tournament. His opponent out of the red corner and your number one seed, Dimitri Ramos. So the number eight seed, Dom Marata, facing off against Dimitri Ramos, our number one seed for the tournament. Gladiator style trunks for Mr. Ramos. Or tail the tape, Dom Murata out of Colorado Springs, 20 years old, five feet seven inches tall, 135 pounds. Seed number eight, he's a kickboxer. Facing off against Dimitri Ramos, he's 23 years old, five feet seven inches tall, 135 pounds. As I said, he is our number one seed, Murray Thai fighter. Mr. Murata out of Transcendence Kickboxing from Colorado Springs and Mr. Ramos out of Easton in Denver, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an elimination king of Sparta Striker Series quarterfinal matchup. It is scheduled for three two minute rounds of boxing. Introducing first, fighting out of the Mike Roney Ford blue corner. He is a kickboxer. He is your eighth seed. Standing five foot seven inches tall, he weighed in at 135 pounds with transcendence kickboxing from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Dom Murata! His opponent out of the interstate, Rubik JRC, windows red corner. He's a Muay Thai style fighter and your number one seed. He says five foot seven inches tall, weighed in at 135 pounds with Easton from Denver, Colorado, Dimitri Ramos. Gregory Armando Costa. Fighters, you were given instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey Michael Massa at all times. Push gloves, out to your corners. 
Murata with the blue gloves, Ramos with the red gloves. Number eight seed versus number one seed. Here we go, King of Sparta Strikers Tournament. Little fill out process. Fight playing out in this open stance, boxing. Uh, that means the, the rear hand's gonna play the, the dividends right now. Both fighters look patient, looking for their shots. Yeah, they have a whole tournament of fights ahead of them, so don't need to come rushing out of the gate. Murado doing the better job of keeping his lead leg on the outside. In an open stance, it's whoever has the lead leg on the outside is, is winning the combinations. And Ooh, look beautiful takedown attempt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Might have had a little glitch there for a second. We'll have none of that, sir. Less than a minute to go in round one. Murata staying light on his feet, looks like, moving his head. He almost looks patient. Possibly too patient. Might want to start flicking out a few more jabs, start making contact. Oh, nice uppercut as Murato tried to enter. Ramos met him with the punch. Well, as you alluded to, Michael, Ramos definitely the calmer of the two fighters. Matters in his own hands there. <laughs> All right, we'll see if Ramos picks up the pace and see if Murata discovered any openings in round one to capitalize on. Good check here, check hook there. Definitely more mixing it up here in round two. Ramos doing a good job of picking your shots and finding these angles. Murata definitely the more energetic fighter. Switching his stances quite a bit as well. I was just going to say Murata came out southpaw. I wonder if he was trying to throw off Ramos a little bit or that's something they worked on in camp. We'll have to see what the judges like to see because Murata's coming out with the light on his feet, a little more energetic. Wow, Ramos is a little bit more methodical, so we we'll have to kind of see what style the judges like to, like to see and how they're going to score it. Right now, Murata's uh, landing uh, more punches than Ramos. Ramos having the better position. Oh, 
and I can see the corner of Ramos, and they're telling him, please, get busier. Yes, because sometimes being too methodical can kind of work against you there. It can come back to haunt you. Nice uppercut underneath, snuck under the arm of Murata. Good job capitalizing there by Ramos. Murata ended up in a poor position. Ramos took good advantage of him, then staggers him with a crisp left hand. And a couple follow-up shots right toward the end of the round had Murata a little bit staggered. by the crew as always. All right, round three. Four fires looking for their shot. And I think Ramos looking to load up that rear hand just like you talked about, Drew. Turn that rear hand into a lead punch. Ramos, little head control, steering his opponent around the ring. I think Ramos is trying to distract him with the lead to, to really start the combination off with his rear hand. Good body shot there. Amorata comes out of the break with a little bit of a pained look on his face. I think maybe that body shot had some more on it than we realized. And Murata just seems a little bit off now. But Ramos looks a little bit more in control there. He's, he's staying calmer. Where it looks like Murata is a little, just a little bit off. I think you're right. That body shot might have done more damage. He doesn't have quite the same bounce in his step as he did before in rounds one and two. Murata relegated to clinching a lot here in the latter part of the third round. Again, he's getting a little flat put it there. Again, that bounce is gone, so it's usually an indicator that something might be wrong or you hit it. Boy, Drew, you called it with using that rear hand as your lead punch. Ramos has landed solidly about three times with that. Murata down on a knee. Came off of a really good body shot. Well, Murata obviously in shape, but very lean fighter, just not any kind of padding on that body to soak up those shots. <laughs> Everything just goes right to the core. End of the fight, so Stewie's gonna gather up the judges' scorecards and let us know how it goes. And by virtue of that being a 10 8 round in the last round, I think pretty square that we call that the number one seed can, can be able to continue in the tournament.
for the 47th time tonight. Stewie's going to make the climb into the ring. About 100 more rounds of that to go. Not even his cardio day. But those stairs are about to turn into a leg day. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after this three round battle, we go to the judges' scorecards to see who moves on. All three judges score this bout 30 26 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And moving on to the semifinals, Dimitri Ramos! All right, we'll take it up to Heath Soderstrom for the post fight interview. Big Sexy, take it away. Get excited, Sparta. I'm here with your winner. Moving on to the second round. How exciting is it to be in a fight like this in the whole one night? It's fun, man. It's fun. It's a wake-up fight. We're in, uh, We're live. Congratulations. Moving on. Are you excited for the next round? Always, man. Yeah. The next round. We'll see when it's there. Sounds good. Thank you, Sparta. 